just a quick little video. First swarm call of the year. Beautiful. Almost black queen. Didn't have time to take pictures. They were on a gentleman's fence and he needed to leave. So I got him and got out of here. They're all on this side. Probably about four pounds of bees. This was what was hanging on the, the box. When I closed them up and put them in the truck, they're all behind my seat in the extended cab. Figured I'd start the video right before I got home. Kind of show you guys what I'm gonna actually do with them because I've got a little hive set up right out in the front under a dogwood tree. I'm gonna pull the truck right up to it, walk over there, set the queen in. She's in a cage. Set her in the, the hive, dump all these bees that are in the box in it. That one right there. turn around I'll pause the video while I work the truck now that they got the truck stopped they're all piled up on this window this colony here I should say this hive here is almost set up I need to go get another frame Got a frame of honey in there in the workshop, so I'm gonna pause the video again and go get that and be right back. All right, figured I'd just let you guys see what I do to set them up. It's a good frame. What I'm doing is gonna use that box to shake them in. What I want to do is get new comb drawn out since this is a swarm so what I went and done is got frames for them to draw this is a shaker box then after that I will put the feeder shim on it and feed them so let's pause the video and get ready to shake them again I should be more organized shouldn't I well up next I'll open the cart the truck door bring the hive over here the box set in here put the queen down below Put her on one of these frames in the queen cage. I'll show you the queen. Put this back on, dump the bees in. Open the window to the truck so the bees can fly out and find their new home. Oh, a couple hundred bees in there. See if she'll make an appearance. There she is. She is definitely a mated queen. She's 
It's almost black. What I'll do is I'll take her and put her right here on this honey frame. Move her to the middle of the honey frame. That way when they cluster, we got one more cold night. When they cluster, they'll cluster to the center and be on her and not let her be out on the outside and not be kept warm. Like I said, we're gonna use this as a funnel. Do a quick check, make sure we didn't have two queens. This early in the year, I would say there would be hardly any chance of having two queens. Even though Kaysen Steele had two queens in his colony when we inspected them at the winter. Had the mated queen that he started with and And we found another mated queen. Off my ear. Little public service announcement. If you do not feel comfortable working bees without a veil, please, please, please do not do it. Kind of crawling all in my hair, on my ears, all over me. All over my sweatshirt. Any other quick T uh, PSA announcement? Make sure, see it's swarm season, you always have something to catch them in when you're out and about. I was blessed with a swarm call. Show you how many bees are in here. You got a full colony of bees, drones and all. I'll come back out here in probably two days. Release the queen. Hopefully these don't make me go get a brush and brush them off because those nylon brushes they give you when you first get your hives are called bee pisser offers in my book. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the first swarm call of the year. Have a great swarm season.